gonna show you guys around a little bit. You haven't seen all this stuff, so I'm just gonna wing it. All right, so we actually have this little guy. And for y'all that grew up, I don't know, way back when, like the 80s and 90s, Aliens was the absolute pinnacle of sci-fi action horror. And it was unbelievable what they were able to do with those suits and those costumes, especially in the days before CGI really came into play. So, to be honest, there's kind of that drought desert between like 1999 and like 2012, where CGI was good, but not great. You could definitely tell the differences in lighting. You could see the boundaries, all that kind of stuff. The rendering hardware just wasn't that great. So anyway, I uh, actually went to Second and Charles, which is like a secondhand used, um, I'll put it comic book and like video game kind of place with movies and books and that kind of stuff. You get the idea. It's a used bookstore that um, carries a lot of other stuff too. So I actually found this guy. What a gem. This is actually the, uh, the Aliens vs. Predators uh, AVP alien. As you notice, like the net on top. Like remember that scene in the AVP where they actually had the net on top and like they wound it up real tight and it like cut into the skull of the alien? That's what this is. Now, I know you guys are not going to understand me geeking out like this because, uh, honestly, you're going, what the hell, Carrie? We don't even know this about you. I had no idea you were into this stuff. Are you kidding me? This is insane. Like, why would you ever be interested in this? Well, it's cool. And besides, I mean, it's not like I sit around playing with it and going, action. No, that's not what we do at all. But... It is fun to have, it's fun to look at, see it around every once in a while, and it's cool. I mean, it's not like the crappy South Park stuff that you see everywhere, and everybody goes, oh, Cartman, oh, No, mm-mm, no, AVP. And then, let's talk about some of the other stuff in my office. So if you look around, we've actually got some other things too. So we've actually got the, uh, the Big Mouth Billy Bass equivalent of a koozie. So, you guys know I like koozies. Well, this one, <laughs> it's pretty awesome. It's a fish. Now, are you really surprised that I have a fish koozie? Because the, yep, beer goes right there. All right, so the fish koozie is pretty original. My wife laughed at me and said, you cannot get that. I will disown you. This is a terrible waste of money. And what did I do? I bought it anyway. Because why? because it's a fish koozie. It reminds me of the sombrero salsa dish that we bought when we lived in Chicago. And it was great. It was like you had the chips around the outside and then actually the top of the hat covered the salsa in the middle. And when you press the button, it played the hat dance song, the salsa thing pivoted back and then revealed the salsa and you had to get in there real quick and dip the chip and then it was amazing. So. Kudos to you folks that come up with this creative stuff. This is awesome. And to be honest, you probably th threw it out there and said, eh, we'll sell 100,000 of them. It'll be fine. We'll pay like 10 cents on the dollar for them, and it'll be great. Well, guess what? You sold one. You got me. And it is good because uh, <laughs> it's a novelty item. I mean, come on. Just like the AVP Predator back here, this guy is unnecessary. It's fun, but it's just unnecessary. All right, let me put this over here. All right, and we have this guy. So for those of you that don't recognize, this is actually the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. And this was the most amazing experience in the world. And some of you have seen some of the intro. Well, if you've watched the welcome video to this channel, you've seen footage from my trip to Dubai when I was back there in, oh, well, I don't, I don't even want to say, but I was there a while ago, and we went to the top of the Burj Khalifa, and it was absolutely amazing, and what's really funny is that these guys actually built this with a retractable telescope in the top, so when they want to make it the tallest building in the world, all they do is they ratchet up the spire just a little bit more, and voila, they're back on top, so of all the buildings in the world, um, that are tall, I've been in five of the top 10. So 
it is really something else when you go to see these architectural marvels. And when you get up this high, trust me, you can start seeing the curvature of the earth. It is breathtaking. Just absolutely amazing. So I know you guys have heard me ramble on for a little bit on this, but um, yeah, this was truly one of the unique, awesome experiences of my life. And I fully embrace and, and condone everybody getting that chance and taking advantage of it. There's nothing like travel, nothing like travel in the world. And then finally back here, you guys have actually seen some of the other things that I got on my back desk here. And some of these are actually pictures that I bought from other artists throughout the world. And I wanted to share those with you guys today. So again, you're getting shots you don't need. And this is actually a piece of artwork from Intone Photography in Melbourne, Australia. And this guy is actually set up in the, uh, in the Victoria market there in Melbourne. And I enjoy his work immensely. Um, he does some really great stuff with the graffiti and the street art, but he also has a, a real feel for what it's like to live in Melbourne. And I've spent a significant time of my career down there, um, several months, in fact, and it is an amazing place. And I always said that if there was another city I'd live in in the world besides where I do live, um, it would be Melbourne. So here's a picture of one of the city streets and the alleys. And this is very common in Melbourne. They come through every once in a while, paint over the walls, and then people come along behind after, and the artists lend their craft and their skill to restoring these to their beautiful, colorful selves. So it's really neat. Some artwork gets a lot of respect and gets to stay around for a couple of months. Um, and the other pieces get tagged right away and just, you know, lose their identity. So it's very much ethereal and uh, temporary in nature. So when you get a chance to capture a shot like this, you go ahead and you take it. And then finally, I um, wanted to share with you guys one of the pictures I have of the, uh, of the Australian Outback. So again, by the same photographer and really an amazing piece of work. And I'll tell you, you, uh, you really don't understand how impressive this vast expanse is until you actually see it in person. And I would tell you, this is pretty representative. There are places like this. It is one of the, uh, the most sparsely inhabited places in the world and very raw, natural, and wild. So I sound like the freaking tourism board today, but I like being there a lot, all right? Hey, so if you're from Australia and you're watching, comment below, let us know where you're watching from. And actually, uh, you guys that I used to work with, comment below to let me know you saw it. <laughs> All right, that's about it for today. I've given you guys a brief tour of what I've got as my makeshift studio right now. I'm hoping to have more permanent space soon, but uh, for right now, this is what we have, and that's gonna have to do. So I'm making the best of it, and to be honest, I'm very blessed to have what I have. So very thankful. Appreciate you guys tuning in, and I especially like seeing you here. I'll see you soon. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn on those post notifications if you haven't already, and tune in next time. And there's gonna be some videos after this that they recommend to you. Go ahead and take a look. One of them is usually like my latest, and the other one's like the one that's most recommended for you. So they know what you watch, I know what you watch, and it's great liking videos and actually subscribing and sharing these videos with other people is how YouTube knows that you actually like it. So if you guys want to make sure that other people can find the content and that they find it cool too, share that link. Let me know. Let them know. I don't even need to know. Just let those other folks know about our channel. I appreciate you guys helping me grow. Appreciate the fact that you're here. And I'm not expecting this video to get a whole bunch of likes because honestly, it's just a guy on video rambling. But, uh, hey, might surprise ourselves here. You never know. I'm prepared for it. I hope you guys are too. And I'm hoping that we can all say, hey, we remember back when. Back when Carrie didn't even bother to change his shirt between shoots. Back when we had this fuzzy background, depth of field, and like, you know, there's, and maybe part of you is like, he doesn't want to see what's on his desk. Or maybe you don't want to see what's on my desk. I don't know. Anyway, this is where I've been doing all my work during the pandemic, and it is what it is. I appreciate you guys letting me share a little bit of what I've been up to lately and some of my memories about all the places I've traveled. So, all right, remember to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I'll see you boop, next time.